it embarrasses me to reflect how long I'm already here on this island and how little I speak. As I'm standing here and now, I commit to doing an entire episode of this vlog in Bahasa Indonesia in four days. Good morning, beautiful people. Yesterday in the evening, my dad arrived here in Bali. Oh, he's gonna visit us for two weeks and uh, I'm very excited uh, not only to see him but to co-create further regarding Castavaria. This morning we're gonna start with another land visit because as I told you yesterday our favorite piece of land that uh, we found or that found us is not accessible unfortunately due to zoning regulations that recently ch that changed recently but we're gonna ride away further and see what else might emerge instead. Mm, very excited. Okay, well, here is the Probably biggest durian tree I've ever seen. It's behind this these bushes. I somehow need to get there. Made it. Oh my god. Wow. Look at this. Look at this durian tree. Wow. 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 This is so big for a mature durian tree. This easily can provide a whole village with fruits. Wow. Our three criteria for the ideal land are a lot of mature fruit trees. Durian, jackfruit, mangosteen, avocado the more mature the better of course we can plant by ourselves but if, if you plant a durian tree you need to wait for eight years until you can harvest something and if they're already mature durian, matured fruit trees the better of course like things like papaya and and um, wow what a beautiful spider she's silver and yeah things like papaya banana they are growing a lot faster and then criteria number two of course mountain the mountain view and have the mountains as as close as possible ideally being directly connected to the forest that would be like ideal and then criteria number three water having a river or even better having a waterfall close by or directly on the land like if these three come together it's like so yeah that's what i'm always checking all right just arrived back we were greeted by coconut delivery look at this abundance 30 new coconuts for the week epic <laughs> unfortunately that was not the right land that was nice but it was not a wow and we won't settle below a wow so the search will continue and i strongly sense that the path to move forward is to just explore just walk where my soul leads me and to immerse myself even more in these like little little roads that are seemingly going nowhere and then it's like you turn around and it's like oh my god wow that's like just before the mountain these places i'm looking for them there's al already one area i explored while i was uh, taking a hike two days ago that feels very very inviting let's see show you something very exciting and no it's not these super cool new headphones that I got that uh, my dad brought uh, from Germany these are the Fairbuds XL 
by Fairphone, matching nicely with the Fairphone that I got earlier this year. So that's a completely repairable set of headphones consisting of nine pieces that are modular and if something breaks then you can just replace it. And they look pretty cool, I love them. But that's not what I wish to share with you. I sense that the number one skill that stands between me and finding the perfect piece of land is to get more fluent in Bahasa Indonesia, the local language. Because I sense that the real gems are not on some kind of platform or with a real estate agent. These are the opportunities that arise when you just go for a walk and then you get to know local people and they are maybe 70 years old and probably speak no English and then you get into contact uh, with them and then you get referred to another friend and their cousin and then boom, somehow your home materialized. I sense that this is how everything will play out and I'm already in Bali for quite a long time and I am able to hold a basic conversation and to order fruits and vegetables and that's basically it. And this needs to change, not only for building custodia but as a sign of respect for the local culture. Right? It embarrasses me to reflect how long I'm already here on this island and how little I speak because so many people speak like English really well, which is very convenient, but which is not useful for learning the local language. So, I'm ready to commit to a challenge, to a challenge that deeply scares me, <laughs> but I sense that I need to do it anyway. I got inspired to this challenge by the one and only Tim Ferriss. And in this episode of the Tim Ferriss experiment, he learned the Filipino language in just four days. Look at this. Stand by camera three. I've never been to the Philippines. I only speak one word of Tagalog, and that is thank you. Salamat. So you're telling me you speak like a Filipino now. With language learning experts on my side, I will find out just how much Tagalog I can cram in four days. And this is the day of reckoning for Tim Ferriss. Are you ready? I'm Tim Ferriss. <laughs> best-selling author and human guinea pig. I'll show you how to make the impossible possible. All right, Tim, I accept your challenge. Learning Bahasa Indonesia in four days. Let's go. The first ingredient in order to succeed, according to Tim, is we need a hack, a big, hairy, audacious goal. Something that <laughs> makes it impossible for us not to dedicate every <laughs> hour, every minute, every second that we have at our disposal to this task. And Tim committed that after four days we will, he will do an interview on live television in front of five million people in Tagalog, the language of the Philippines. So just by that it was 100% sure that he will practice and practice and practice. So, as I'm standing here and now, I commit to doing an entire episode of this vlog in Bahasa Indonesia in four days. Let's see if this will be watched by 5.6 billion people too. <laughs> <laughs> Ingredient number two, we need a strategy. Let's learn from Tim how he did it. All I have to fall back on are the learning techniques I've been perfecting over the last decade. One of the frameworks I use to tackle new languages is CAFE. It's an acronym that helps me to streamline the entire learning process. First, I need to condense or compress what I study. Given the time frame, I then devise the best schedule for studying, reviewing, and resting. And to maximize retention, I use memory tricks to make tough materials stick. So, CAFE, compression, frequency, and encoding. Interesting. So, first we are invited to compress. Mm. Obviously, in four days I cannot learn all the Indonesian language that is out there. I need to focus on the most essential. What is really needed. Let's see what Tim recommends when it comes to selecting the right material. 
I translate these 12 sentences into every new language I study. They help me to understand verb tense, word order, sentence structure, and much more. The apple is red. It is John's apple. I give John the apple. We give him the apple. He gives it. To she gives it. To is him. the apple the apple is our I rest. I give want it to, to give it to him. I, I can't eat the apple. Keep it very compressed on one page so whenever I get overwhelmed, I can refer back to that as my guide, as my compass. Uh, All right, copy paste it. One change. That's very important. Since we are in Bali and there are no apples, there are pine apples. That's why we need to replace all the apple with nanas. At this stage, we already realized that Bahasa Indonesia is a language that is not too hard to learn. The pine apple is yellow, translates to nanas kuning. Nanas means pineapple and kuning means yellow. So instead of saying the pineapple is yellow, I just say pineapple yellow. The same is true for it is John's pineapple, translates to itu nanas, John. This pineapple, John. Let's see if this journey continues like that or if there will be some major roadblocks. Now it's my turn to learn and to dive in. How will I learn? Two outlets, of course, real world conversations as many as possible over the next four days I just smashed a glass accidentally and the staff helped me to um, to uh, remove the the broken pieces and of course I asked what is broom in Bahasa sapu one more word and in, in my vocabulary sapu that's like one of the easiest ways is like wh whatever is taking place always ask people people like Everybody is so incredibly friendly. Everybody likes to support and I can just ask what is this in Bahasa? What is this in Bahasa? What is this? Like sapu. All right. Sapu means broom. Sapu kuning. The broom is yellow. Itu. Sapu. Leo. It is Leo's broom. <laughs> Fun fact, Leo has his own broom. He likes to clean so he likes to clean with the broom so much that grandma brought him, bought him a broom and it's really yellow. Itu sapu. It, let's let's combine these two. Itu sapu. Leo kuning. Does it work? It is Leo's yellow broom. I guess so. All right. A lot to explore over over the upcoming days. A little app that will support me on my journey, especially in the night when I cannot talk to anybody, is Duolingo. A beautiful little app with a nice gamification approach where you can learn. It is a lot of fun. It feels like a game and uh, you can learn all sorts of words and it's nice. All right, I feel perfectly equipped to hopefully succeed at this challenge to in four days record an entire vlog in Bahasa Indonesia. So get ready for <laughs> 10 minutes of Itu Nanas Robert. <laughs> oh wow. What have I done? <laughs> Umur Tini 20 tahun. Umur Tini, dua puluh tahun. Tini is 20 years old. Nice.